Hey there guys, Jake here. I just got back from watching Black Mass opening night. First showing I was able to go see. I saw it instead of watching the football game, Thursday Night Football. So that says how dedicated I was about going to see this movie. So what did I think about it? I fucking loved it. From point A to point B, I thought that this film was phenomenal. I had so much fun with it. I was engrossed in the story. The acting was phenomenal by the entire ensemble cast, which I will get to in a minute. The directing style was so well done. The story was so well crafted and so well written by the screenwriters. It was just an amazing film overall and I freaking loved it. So I'll start off by talking about the performances in this film starting off with Johnny Depp who I am so glad has finally returned to form after the bullshit parts of the Caribbean sequels, that piece of shit Lone Ranger film and also Transcendence and don't even get me started on Mordecai. The guy has just been on a shit streak recently but he has broken that with this film. He did a phenomenal job but he really honed in on that character and completely transformed into that character. I didn't see Johnny Depp up there and it wasn't because he was covered in makeup like usual. I saw a character and I was so happy about that. I am so glad he's finally back doing what he knows how to do. This movie proves that he is still one of the best actors working today. Now it doesn't just stop there. The entire cast, like I said, performs so well in this movie. You have Benedict Cumberbatch playing Johnny Depp's brother in the film. He does a great job. A phenomenal, phenomenal. What can you say about Benedict Cumberbatch that hasn't already been said? The guy's being cast in everything for good reasons. He is a phenomenal actor and he proves that again in this film. But my favorite without a doubt performance in this film is Joel Edgerton. If you saw my review of the film The Gift which came out not too long ago which is still one of my favorite movies of the year and that is my favorite performance of the year so far. Joel Edgerton in that film was amazing. He does such a great job in that film. He also directed that movie and if you haven't seen that movie or you haven't seen my review I suggest go checking both of those out. I can put a link in the description down below for that review. But he does it again with this movie. This is two home runs in the same year for this guy. He is just one of the best guys in Hollywood today. He totally, totally transforms himself every time. Doing a phenomenal job yet again with this film. Playing the FBI agent John Connolly who forms the alliance with Johnny Depp's character James Whitey Bulger. Now as far as the other cast member goes, you have Jesse Plemons. Yes, Landry from Friday Night Lights, the TV show. And if you haven't seen that TV show, check it out. I love that show. It's one of my favorites of all time. You should check that out as soon as possible. It's five seasons, but it's awesome. I loved every second of that show. It's on Netflix currently, so you can check it out there. But he's in this movie. He does a great job. Dakota Johnson, what a surprise hit in this film. But the limited screen time she has, she did a great job with it and used it wisely. If you don't know, she is the lead actress in Fifty Shades of Grey, and I totally shit on her in my review of that film. But I think she totally redeemed herself in this movie, doing a great job and really holding her own with some of the great actors in this film. Now there's a few other cast members and lesser known actors and actresses in this film who all do great jobs in their own rights. I don't know some of their names, but they all do great jobs in this film. Hey, hey, Kevin Bacon makes an appearance in this film. That says enough. And the bad guy from Ant-Man's also in it, and he is serviceable, but he didn't really do anything else. He wasn't there that long, but he was serviceable for his character. I think he did an okay job. Not nearly to the level of the likes of Edgerton or Johnny Depp in this film. So not only is the acting in this film phenomenal, but the script, like I said, is so well crafted and so well written by the screenwriters. I am so impressed with how well this movie was written. I know it is about a real life person, but that doesn't take away from it at all. They do such a great job of making it an entertaining story with characters that feel real, with realistic dialogue that doesn't just feel like cheesy bullshit like in some movies. Having realistic and flowing dialogue that doesn't feel fake or unnatural is something that cannot be said for a lot of films in Hollywood nowadays. A lot of writers don't know what feels natural and they try to cram in stuff that just feels fake as hell. That is not the case with this movie. Phenomenal script. I can't wait to see what these guys do with their career. I'm so pumped to see them write more movies. They did a great job with this movie and they deserve credit for that. So the directing in this movie, the directing style, the, the way it was stylized, the way it was shot, it was just so perfect. I loved the shot selection in this film. The cinematography looked great. Nothing in this movie felt like a set at all. It all felt like they were shooting at real locations. I'm not sure if they were or not, but if they weren't, great job by the set designers and cinematographer for making it look as real as possible. Great, great job. The music in this film also works so well with the scenes it's in. Some of the most disturbing and violent scenes in the film were fit so perfectly 
with the right music selection and it just adds another layer and another element to this film that some films miss because they choose wrong music. Every scene that this movie had with the music, it fit perfectly with the scene it was in and just made the movie so much more enjoyable to watch. So I don't really think there is anything else I can say about this movie. Honestly, if you haven't been listening to me for the past whatever amount of time, I loved the hell out of this movie. I probably will see it again. It is a long movie. It's around two hours, two hours and ten minutes, but every second of it I loved. And that's coming from a guy who hates long movies, but a movie like this, I had no problem with it being as long as it was. I had a great time from the beginning of this film, from the first scene to the last scene. I had so much fun with it. So that's all I'm going to say today. If you want to hear more from me, definitely hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like this video. Check out some of my other ones. I will put a link in the description to my previous video where I go on a rant about annoying moviegoers, how they kindly need to shut the fuck up. So that is it for today. I am out.